KO Beats made that. KO Beats made that. Okay guys, so you're just going to braid the top section of the hair into your desired size and style. Um, as you can see, I'm doing them really, really small, mainly because she's just big chopped. So if I was to do them too big, it will most likely get messy quickly or come loose quickly. So yeah, just do whatever size you want and whatever patterns or designs you like. Also, you may or may not notice, but I didn't braid the very back and the sides where it's tapered mainly because it's too short and I wouldn't really want to pick it up. I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to because that will probably just lead to more damage and that's the reason why she cut her hair in the first place. So don't force picking up hair just so that the hairstyle looks neat. It's okay sometimes to just save the hair and save the edges instead.
all up. Okay, so as usual, I'm just using the knotless or invisible technique around the whole perimeter and I leave absolutely no gaps because if I do leave gaps, you'll be able to see the cornrows which won't look good. So you can be a bit more gappier in the middle section, especially if you don't want it too full, but in the perimeter, leave absolutely no gaps. I didn't really do a good job at showing how I apply these because I know some people are not sure but if you do want me to make a separate video on how I do it please let me know most people do use a bead um, feeder I think that's what they're called but I don't have one so I use my crochet needle which works just as well you just can't put as many beads on it so what you probably didn't see properly is that when you get to the end you're going to take the piece of the end of hair and then fold it over the last bead and then you're just going to tie it with an elastic band and then pull the rest of the beads down. <laughs> 